In this video, let's set up your theme widgets. But what is a theme widget? Well, a theme widget is just a reusable style for your widgets. They're like CSS classes. So here I just drag some choice chips onto my canvas and they are not looking good. But because I have a theme style already set up for them, you can just come into your widget styling here and you see it down here. And when you click it, all of a sudden we've got this beautiful choice chips style. So let me show you how to set these up and then how to use them. So to get to your theme widget settings, just come over here to your theme settings and then your last option here will be your theme widgets. Now you wanna set up these theme widgets after you've set up your colors and your typography and your icons because you're gonna use those when you're setting up your theme widget styles. And there's an important order when you're setting up your design system. So first you set up your colors and typographies and icons, then you do your theme widgets, and then we'll set up our components. Theme widgets are styles upon base widgets, whereas components typically will contain multiple widgets that have those theme styles. Okay, so come over here and create a widget. And these are all the base widgets that you can create theme widget styling for. Okay, so which ones do you wanna design here? Well, any you use in your project. I mean, yes, if you only use it once, you don't really need to, but it sets your project up for scalability. That is, if you do need that widget in the future, you've already got one designed and you have to design it anyways, so you might as well design it here so that it's reusable. Okay, so let's jump over to our design in Figma and take a look at what we're going to be implementing as a theme widget. Okay, so here's my design and let's zoom in on this login page right here and we've got some great candidates for theme widgets. We can do these text fields fields right here and these two buttons. So let's do this text field first. So I wanna just grab some values out of here. Now, I already have imported my typography and my color, so I don't need that, but I'm gonna look at the border radius. So I double click in here and it looks like we've got 12 and I'm gonna look at my height. So if I just click on here, it looks like we got 60 pixels. Okay, great. And the last thing is if we zoom in really far here, we can see we got a little border on here. So we're gonna implement that too. All right. Let's jump back into Flutterflow. All right, so let's give a name to our widget. We're gonna say input dark and grab our text field and create. Now our app is dark mode primary. So let's switch it over to dark mode and let's just work our way down here. First, let's just remove our padding here. We'll typically handle that with a parent. And first let's set our fill color. So let's go all the way down to our input decoration properties. Here's our filled property. Let's turn that on. And I know this is gonna be secondary background. And then our border is gonna be outlined. And that color is going to be our accent four. And the border width is going to be one pixel. Beautiful. Next, let's change our label here. So let's scroll up to our label settings. And this is gonna be this label large here. And the text color is gonna be our secondary text here. And we don't want it to say label here, but we don't wanna add in a value here. And that's because we're gonna use this for multiple different inputs. And we don't want the text, say for instance, email address as part of the widget styling. So in order to do that, we just unclick this link here. And that means that this won't be part of the widget styling. We'll see it here, but it's just for visualizing our design. So we can add in your email address and let's get our border radius. We know that's gonna be a 12, beautiful. And finally, we've got our height. Now, there's no height properties on text fields, but the way to handle it is with content padding right here. So a good rule of thumb to get your height is to take your font size and then add your content padding top and bottom, add those all together and that will be your height. So our font size right now is 12 and we need to get up to 60. So 60 minus 12, 48. And then we divide that by two for the top and bottom content padding. And so we get 24, beautiful. Now we just need to bump it off from the side here. So let's give that another 24, great. And that's it, our text field widget styling is done. Next, let's implement those two buttons. So let's go grab those styles. So we've clearly got two different colors 
And we got 50 for the height here, 50 for the height there, full border radius, and that's it. Now remember, we've already imported our colors and our type, so we don't need to worry about grabbing those. All right, create a widget. We'll do the purple one first. So we'll just call this button purple and grab this button right here. We don't want the text bound to the style, so we'll get rid of that. But just for visualization, we'll add in our type that we're designing for. The color is set to primary, which is what we already want. And let's make our border radius. That's right here. We could give that 30. We don't have any elevation and we have a height of 50 and we want a little bit more button padding. So we're just going to bump that up to 30. Beautiful. And there's our first button. Let's take a look at our second one just for reference. Continue as guest. So let's create another one. We'll call this button dark. Grab another button. This time the color is going to be accent four and our same border radius. Let's add in our dummy text. Let's unbind it. Continue as guest. Need a little bit. And we know the height is going to be 50. And we need a little bit more button padding. This time we'll go up to 36. Once again, no elevation and we're good. Beautiful. Lastly, let me show you how to use these theme widgets because there's a couple of different ways. So we're gonna go back to our builder. So there are two main ways to use theme widgets. First is that you can just grab them and drag them in like any other widget, and you can do that any way you access your widgets. So through the floating widget panel right here, in your body over here, or in your UI builder right here. And they're all gonna be under this icon here, which is your theme widgets. So if we just grab a column and dump it in here, let's give it a little padding and come over to our theme widgets and we can just start dumping in our theme widgets. The other way to do it is to grab your base widget. So let's add in another text field right here. And let's just drag this up and then come into your widget styling here and select it. Let's just give it a little padding and there you go. Lastly, you can update your theme widget stylings and it'll propagate out to all the children that are bound to that style. So maybe I want this border here a little bit more prominent. So I can go back into my styling, come into my input here, scroll down to my border color. Let's just grab this here and maybe I wanna make it a little bit brighter here. Let's use that and let's put it to two pixels. And I save that, and when I go back, I can see that it's already propagated out. Setting up your theme widgets are a critical part of being able to build fast and efficient apps in Flutterflow. So take the little extra time, it'll save you tons of work later.